Okay, I personally believe that by being yourself and winning the show, you deserve to win it because you're being honest to yourself and to those around you. And I feel that's a really important um, quality in someone and something that's appreciated by others so the public would see that um, you're being honest and want to say, keep you in for being true to yourself. And also, I think you deserve it because the experience and the final reward um, will be much more meaningful to yourself because it's not only a financial reward but also on a personal level more rewarding because you feel that you've been, you feel a sense of self-satisfaction um, self for being appreciated for being yourself and for your own traits. Um, and also to play a game is to set out to win. It means that you've employed tactics in the selection process and in being in the house, which um, indicates a mindset for profiteering both um, for celebrity and financially. And for me, personally, that's distasteful and it means you've come onto the show for the wrong reasons. Um, for me, legitimate reasons for coming onto the show are for the experience, for wanting to fill your life with unique opportunities. Um, and that means that you can totally be yourself when you're on the show because the initial aim wasn't to win. Um, it is true this has been called a game show, um, but I feel the show is more about social interactions um, between individuals than a test of competence, either intellectually or physically. And so it would be just generally more fitting to act in a way that is reflective of reality. Um, it, however, it is true it is a reality show and therefore that the, the reward, in this case winning the show, should be um, for being real. Um, and just from a basis from within the house, it's, um, it can be emotionally detrimental to other housemates. If you're forming and social interactions are occurring and when you're forming relations with others, that if you do so and you're not being genuine, then people can end up being hurt if they went into this show with actually being genuine to themselves. So in conclusion, I think that um, you do, you're doing the show, not only the show justice, but um, yourself and those who selected you and those who vote for you justice if you're, if you're winning and um, by being yourself because it involves honesty and without honesty there's a lot of distrust and the world's generally just a worse place um, when there's a lot of distrust in it. Okay, so I know you say about like being yourself and stuff but do you not believe that some people will, as I said in my speech, kind of like adapt themselves and morph themselves to the surroundings? I think obviously in any circumstance in life you can adapt to, to the people around you but there's, a, there's only a certain level where you can, where you can go, for legitimately go. Um, so if you're constantly trying to withhold opinions or do whatever or creating you know, interactions with other people which aren't sincere, I just think that's not something which is appreciated on the show and so I don't think people in, um, pub in the public would appreciate it and I don't think it's a way to win um, because people generally do see through these um, through it. So do you think people would be as afraid to maybe express an opinion as they would on the outside world? Do you feel that people in the house would know everything about everyone? No, I just mean there's a difference between adapting to your circumstances and not being yourself. You can adapt but you, you can adapt, but those adaptations only really involve small changes and appreciating other people's feelings. But if you're completely changing your personality um, or having friendships which you would never normally have on the outside, I just think that is um, playing a game and adapting is very different from playing a game. Do you think also on the outside world people would willingly maybe, for example, dress up as rats and spin on wheels? Obviously, um, there's a lot of things in here that, over which we have no control. And um, obviously, you've got to go along with those things for the sake of others. And even, and you, you, that's right to a point that you do adapt to it. You might not want to be as selfless in certain circumstances, but you have to. But there is a difference between that and playing a game. Um, playing a game can involve lots of things. It's more of social interactions rather than just um, doing the tasks which are for, you know, the greater good of the group.